Hello and welcome to the demo for Tukidan Kiwami. That's probably not how you pronounce it, but fuck it, go with it. Guess who this is made by? Or at least, I think it's made by, because have you noticed that? Look at this. I think this is made by the same people, or possibly made by the same people that make Bladestorm <laughs> Nightmares, which is uh, interesting. This looks familiar. I don't know why. But, uh, there's a CGI, like, intro that I'm pretty sure the game is gonna be nothing like because of CGI trailers for you. Let's go into it. Let's see what it's like. So we have the demo allowed to play the opening chapter and the start of the second chapter of Tukidan Kiwami. Save data can be carried across to the full version. That's always good to see. You can... You can okay special missions only available if the demo version. Let that sink in. <laughs> you can only you can you can okay special missions only available in the demo version. You can okay special mission. I give up. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's just go into it. Okay then. Interesting. Now. I think I've played this before. On the Vita. I don't know why, but I get that feeling. I'm gonna look up on my video manager and see if I have played this before, because I get the feeling that I have. But while we do that, we'll look at this. Okay, change my name. Um, uh, nope. Yes, I know this. How do I change? How do I change? There we go. To uppercase. There we go. Well, it seems like the male and the, and the female are dressed equally as ridiculous. Hairstyle. I mean, it looks nice. Um. How many hairstyles are there? An afro, mm-hmm. And there's 20 hairstyles, of course there is. A nice round number of 20. I have no idea. I think we should go with... Um... I look very feminine, which is fine. How do I... Oh. Alright, well, we don't want to go there. Um... Okay. But what if I just want black? Can I get black hair? It doesn't look black to me. We'll just, just go with that. It's fine. Face. I look like, um... Um... Gollum. And I look like a child. That looks like a reasonable man. Looks a bit like Rob... What's his name? What's the guy who plays the person in Twilight? I have no idea. Robert... Is it Robert Pattinson? I think. So... I can't remember what the game's called now. I, I know how it, what it's called, but I can't remember how you spell it to look at my video manager. Yes. Yeah, right. Well, we'll go with this. It's fine. Okay. Is this a bit like Monster Hunter? I swear I've seen this before. That is the biggest bow in the world. That is the biggest club in the world. That's a what? A, na a naginata. A naginata. That's a rifle. Okay. We're going with rifle. Do you wish to save? Yeah, probably. It's probably a good idea. 
I think I've played this before on the Vita. It's one of those Japanese RPGs that are pretty. Like, you know if you like them or not, I think. I look about 10 years old. I think I played this. I'm sorry, I don't speak Japanese. Japanese? Jack I said Japanese then. I meant Japanese. And now into the real game, which looks like... Oh no, no no. We killed him by looking awesome. I've I've played this. So is this the PS Vita port to the PS4? Or well, the PS4 port, I meant. From the Vita. I think it is. Is this the one? Yes, this is the one. Asleep. Indeed. Then by chance it may be time to dream. Yes, I think so. A dream of a battle from the distant past. A dream of a catechism from the future. Could this be the bearer of our hopes? In dreams we will see. Mm-hmm. We have like a squirrel, or a, a squirrel fox, a fox squirrel. I'm almost certain I played this. This is Monster Hunter, isn't it? Uh-huh. You are confused. You have every right to be. Let me give you a word of advice. Yes, some advice. Open your eyes. Open. Oh, okay. See it shine in the darkness. Every game has survivor vision. Stop it. Take the Oni's body and head will follow. Now do it. Strike. Okay. Well, this is pretty cool. Graphically, it's very impressive. High amount of detail. Oh, what am I doing? I'm reloading it, okay. I have no idea. Do you want me to attack? What do you want me to attack exactly? This? Must be. Welcome to ev every player who's never played a game like this. What the fuck am I doing? How does anything work? Reload. What is this doing? I have no idea. Am I like hitting the gun? Oh, no. 
Hadouken. Ow. You are not very accurate, monster, are you? Oh, I can put different bullets in it? That's kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. So, like a shotgun. That's pretty cool. Now, I've only played, like, a couple of hours of Monster Hunter, and, uh, well... I wasn't a huge fan of it, I must be honest. Mainly because it was very awkward and clumsy and clunky. So what does this do? Oh, it's a firebomb. A firebomb shot. A monster cannot hit anything to save its life. I don't know if I'm doing anything. I don't know. Oh, okay. I know what R1. R1's to cancel some of the bullets you put in. That's cool. He actually hit me. Keeps saying to me, strike. Like, what do you think I'm doing? I guess we did it. Are we satisfied? Verily, we are. What? In the distance, unreality of a dream. The Slayer's worth has been proven. We must have faith. Yes, we must. We will be waiting. I've played this. I've definitely played this. On the other side, in a distant time. Go forth, Slayer. The battlefield awaits. I think this is a Monster Hunter style of game, but you have a group. I think you have a party of people. Okay. I've yeah, I've, I've played this. I've played this definitely. Why do I have horns? Yep, I played this on the Vita last. I played the demo on the Vita as well. So, the people who made Bladestorm remade the same game on the PS4, and then they remade this on the PS4. <laughs> okay. It seems like all we get these days are fucking remasters. Is anyone sick of that? I mean, it's nice for people who haven't played it before, and like, oh, I can play it now, that's cool. And I, yes, that's cool. I've been in that boat as well. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I can play this game. I didn't play it before. I can play the remaster. That's cool. And that is a nice thing when that happens, but it's still annoying <laughs> when a game, a remaster of a game gets announced when you've already played it. I'd rather see a new game. Welcome to your village. I've done this before. I've done this before. I mean, it looks nice, which... Was this on the PS3? Did they did they go from the PS3 to the Vita to the PS4, or was it just on the Vita? Because I'm not sure about that. 
Skip through all of it. It's fine. I've done it. I can't understand it anyway. There are a lot of games like this. And a lot of people like them as well. Which is, um, fine. Because they're good. I think, I don't know, it's not that I don't like Monster Hunter, it's just that it's a real hard game to get into, I think. But once you're into it, you're like, holy fuck, it's amazing. So you can equip up rank. The numbers written next to the weapon and armor icons indicate the rank. They rank to a maximum of nine. However, lower rank weapons of armor can be made stronger. Okay. So that you can change. It's basically Monster Hunter, but in Japan. It isn't Monster Hunter like set in Japan as well. It's got more of like a samurai feel, I guess. And more of like a like a you know, like a like a a Japanese fantasy game, kind of. Monster Hunter has more of like a Monster Hunter doesn't really have magic in it, does it? Not that I'm aware of. This is more magical and mystical and old Japanese culture and ooh, things coming out of portals and holy shit. But I like this about the game. You can just try everything out. You could do that in Monster Hunter as well, which I like. So you've got loads of variety with a longbow. And of course, everything is vastly oversized. Longsword, dual knives, long spear. The great chain and sickle sounds interesting. So obviously you got your all your equipment. Registered equipment? What's that? Dunno. You can register your preferred equipment combinations that for easier access. There are three different types of equipment that can be registered. Weapons, mitama, and complete armor combinations. Okay, that's cool. Change your hairstyle. Holy shit. Amazing. It's all good. Chapter one. I'm not reading any of this, because fuck reading. If you want me to read, I'll read a book. The Holy Mount. From Slayer HQ, Holy Mount to Hofner. Direct directive from the Holy Mount. Hofner, you are hereby dispatched to Yukata village. Report immediately to your superiors and join the defense force of, re of the region. Yukata is the key location in the Midlands on the front line in our war against Oni. We accept that you will f fulfill your duty with the utmost dedication to our cause. May the light of the heroes forever illuminate your plan. Blah, 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 blah. All this mystical bullshit. We all know. Yes, I am ready. Yes. Oh, what was that? The alarm bell sounds in the distance. An attack on our village? This cannot be the case. It's time to fight. We must fight. For the village. Sorry, we're late, sir. Oh, shit. Epic music, engage. Okay, so I remember this. So basically, we gotta stop them. Yep, yep. More talking. <laughs> oh no, our village is being attacked. Let's talk for five minutes. While everyone is killed. I really don't care. Oh my goodness. Hello, how's your day? <laughs> 
lovely day, everyone being slaughtered and killed. It's fucking Monster Hunter, isn't it? It's a Monster Hunter set in a different setting. And with, like, mystical monsters and ancient Japanese history. Or Chinese. I don't, is this Japanese or Chinese? I don't know. I'm an uncultured bastard. Good afternoon. You cannot change party members for this mission. Proceed. It's Monster Hunter. And if you like these type of games, you'll fucking love this. It's Monster Hunter. <laughs> I remember this. Here is a stone of... Of... Mysticalness. As you can see, just like Monster Hunter, you have really cool, interesting weapons that you don't normally see in other games. And it's uh, quite, quite a nice looking game. I'd say it's maybe a bit more faster version of Monster Hunter. I think maybe, maybe it's a bit easier to get into it. Other than that, it's uh, a great game, really. Back, you goblins. As you can see, just like Monster Hunter, enemies take quite a few hits. As you can see, the UI is basically Monster Hunter, the, you know, the way energy or stamina is taken and all that, the way you attack. Hold down R1, Ritual of Purification. Oh, okay. This is not one of those games where you can, well, at least in the opening stuff you can, but this is not one of those games where you could just, I'm going to mash buttons over and over again. Because as you can see, when you are in an animation, you are basically stuck in it, and you are basically st stood still and stuck to the ground. Which means you cannot just be randomly mashing buttons because you will get killed instantly. You have to, you know, precisely time your attack, precisely time dodges, all that stuff. And I think that will put people off. You know, if you've never played this game, it will definitely take some adjusting to for, you know, people who are used to other kind of third person combat games like this. Oni have appeared. Ow. Ow. As you can see, I'm not very good at it. Would you stop that, please? Ow! You dickheads! Stop it! And you can charge it up, look at that! Holy shit! Amazing! Petrified bone! Oh god! The little goblin man! Oh no! Here you are, fine! You found a, you found a destiny orb! Oh, 
Oh look, you're the chosen one, and you can do this! Holy shit, there hasn't been a slayer like this in fucking ages! Oh my goodness! You can do something that will win the war of, of fighting the Oni! Oh god, it's so predictable and cliche! Holy shit, you've never played a game like this! Oh wait, yes you have, because that's all the fucking games are! And then when you... With your feet, you fucking leave the battlefield, so you have to quickly get all your stuff you have missed. So it's crazy. And it's almost like I played video games before. You are the chosen one. You can do this thing that hasn't been seen in fucking years. Holy shit. And you obviously, you get all these things. I mean, it's, it's, it's a blatant clone of Monster Hunter, but that's not a bad thing. People love these style, style of games. It's a genre in and of itself. And people who enjoy these style of games will eat this up, and that's good. It's a good thing. It's a great game. There's no doubt about it. I would like some English voice acting. I know people, you know, prefer the Japanese voice acting because, you know, it's better. But I personally, I'd rather have English. I mean, come on. I have no fucking idea. Like, I can't... Like, because of the Japanese voice acting, I don't really give a fuck about... the characters. I can't get emotionally inv invested in the characters, but a lot of people don't play these games for the story. I mean, does Monster Hunter even have a story? People play it, you know, for fighting the monsters in epic long battles and stuff like that. So, epic combat, slow, awesome, you know, precise combat and... Or getting awesome weapons and armor and crafting stuff from the scales of things you've killed. That's what the game is all about. And finding new weapons with... Like, there's... I love... My favorite thing about these style of games is the attention to detail in the weapons, the animations, the variety in weapons, and how each weapon has really cool, unique animations, and the weapons are stuff you don't really see in other games, you know what I mean? Which I like. Some really awesome, unique, you know, mechanics for the weapons. I mean, it's great, it's just great to have, especially for a demo, it's great to have a demo for this, because there's probably loads of people who don't normally play this type of game, They'll play the demo and be like, holy shit, I fucking love this. And, you know, they don't know they love it because they haven't played a game like this before. So it's always good for more people to get into this genre. And as you can see, the voice acting has stopped. Now, this is a demo, but it's the exact... It seems like, so far, it seems like the exact same game as the Vita. I'm sure there's, you know, new features, you know, better graphics, obviously. You know, there's probably, hopefully, there's a few new features, um, maybe some new, new areas, new, new enemies, new weapons, who knows, stuff like that. Maybe some new modes. There's too much talking. No one cares about the talking in a game like this. People just want to fight shit and get awesome weapons and stuff like that. Arr. And get the biggest fucking katana in the fucking world. Because Japan. But I think the, I, I, I think these games are great, really. I mean, there's no... 
No one doubting that. Some people may not like it because of the combat is it's very different, but it's you know it's supposed to be precise, very day, very I can't think of the word, but it's, you know it's precise combat, slow, but it's supposed to be like that. As you can see, we have the Monster Hunter Village. The over-exaggerated characters, stuff like that. You know, a staple of this genre. So I'm just going to end it here because I've already done videos on this. But, uh... It's nice, I guess, if this was only on the Vita, then it's nice, I guess, for people who don't own a Vita, because no one does. <laughs> um, it's nice for this to come to the PS4 with, you know, nice graphics, you know. You know, pref preferentially a better controller, you know, because some people find the Vita uncomfortable to use. So, PS4 controller, you know, and they can... Play it on the big screen, and uh, so that's nice. And yeah, really, hopefully it's not completely overpriced, which I don't think it will be. Uh, the demo I know for sure has lots of content, so if you you can play it for a long time, the demo to make sure you like it. And uh, it's great; it's really good. That's all you really need to know. A um, couple of things I don't like are voice acting. I would like some English voice acting and there's some sections where there aren't voice acting. Um, uh, and less talking because no one wants to play these games for talking. People want to play these games to beat shit up, craft stuff and you know, that's it really. And go on epic long battles and fighting crazy monsters. And so, yeah. That's that. That's Tokodoi Hoyo Smedo Muay Thai. That's obviously not what it's called. We can. It's Tokoi Dun Kimwami. Kiwami. Tokoi. Tokoi Dun Kiwami. Tikai Dun Wami. Kawami. Fuck it. There it is. That's it. <laughs>